I need a holder for a cutoff tool for the turret lathe. It's for us here we start off with a piece of raw stock. Just using the calipers to mark it at two. And then we'll also mark it at four inch for the width. We're just going to cut this to size on the bandsaw. So now we need to square up some edges. So we mount it in the Burke. This is a Burke number four. A lot of people say that horizontal mills are outdated or not suitable for the home shop. I disagree completely, if for nothing else than to square up stock. And here's the finished edge. From this angle you can see some saw marks, but they're really not that bad. Put some light on them, you can barely feel them. Perfectly suitable for this application. This is how I mark the 2 inch width. Put the ruler up against the blade and advance the feed in until I get it where I need it to be. And here we are. Three sides squared up. I left the one side that's going to have a shape because there was no need to cut that. That's going to be cut on the Tormod. And here we are making our first pass and as you can see I cut way too deep. That is a 3 8 inch uh, 4 flute roughing end mill from Lakeshore Carbide. That was almost a complete, it was almost completely buried in that cut and that probably was not good. Now the feed and speed is 1166 RPM at 6 inches a minute. For these cuts here I'm taking a .06 depth of cut. But for that first edge, I was doing a .04 on the perimeter. This is an eighth inch four flute to 3657 on the RPM, six inches a minute. And that's to cut the relief for the T, because it is a T-shaped cutoff tool. And that fits pretty well. Now this here I had to fuss around with a lot to get it right but I finally came out with 300 rpm half an inch per minute but a full 3 8 inch depth of cut and I was able to do that in two passes worked out really well here we're drilling some holes and I just realized I had the wrong drill bit in there so here's the proper size for tapping we're gonna drill all the way through This next drill bit is the clearance for the top portion of the holder because it's only going to be threaded on the bottom half. And then we got a half inch bit just to remove some material. And now we have to tap those holes. I did it by hand, countersunk all the holes as well. And here's the idea. We use three bolts to compress the slot that I cut with the slotting saw and it should hold the parting tool in place. But first I want to cut a relief on the back because this does sit in a, a tool holder which you'll see towards the end of the video. And I just didn't want any sharp edges on the bottom to cause any uh, interference problems. So it's back in the Burke for that. And it uh, leaves a really nice finish. Now we're just going to sharpen it up. Sharpen the, uh, the tool bit up. That's going to work pretty well. Just hone those burrs off with the stone. And let's see what we got. It's mounted up in the tool holder on the uh, this is a Barden's and Oliver number five which is a turret lathe and it's working pretty well like I said this is very specific doesn't have height adjustment and I can only cut an inch and a quarter in diameter but it works pretty well does the job I need it to do and it solved the problem I had at the time
a pretty nice finish too. No problems with the cut either. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.